Crew members from Coast Guard Station Fort Pierce assisted the National Marine Fisheries Service in the release of 120 loggerhead sea turtles back into the Atlantic Ocean. The release of these threatened sea turtles took place 17 miles offshore from Fort Pierce, Florida, Monday, July 2nd. As to why these turtles had to be released so far out, our cameras were able to catch up with Shana Keithen, a fisheries biologist with the NOAA Fisheries Service. These turtles, the hatchlings were originally gotten from beaches around this area, and then turtles of this age and this size generally live offshore, um, and they feed and live in the Gulf Stream. And so the Coast Guard is nice enough to take us out and bring the turtles out to the Gulf Stream. These loggerhead sea turtles were utilized this year by NOAA fisheries scientists during routine annual research conducted on the effectiveness of turtle excluder devices, or also known as TEDs. Um, loggerhead sea turtles are listed as threatened. These threatened. particular turtles have been raised since they were hatchlings at the NOAA fisheries lab in Galveston. They're raised up until they're about two years old to be used for turtle excluder device testing for shrimp nets. This year's study ran from June 16th through June 28th. A TED is a special component of a shrimp trawl that enables sea turtles to escape from shrimpers' nets while minimizing the loss of shrimp. TEDs became mandatory in 1989, but prior to their use, thousands of innocent sea turtles drowned each year in shrimp trawls. And when it comes to releasing the sea turtle, there's no special technique and it's not complicated, says Shana. We just kind of set them in the yeah. water and they swim okay. off. Their instincts kick in and they're able to pretty much know what to do to survive. One by one, they're returned to their natural habitat. If you see any marine wildlife in danger, please contact the U.S. Coast Guard immediately. This is Petty Officer James Judge, U.S. Coast Guard reporting.